Well, congrats, Texas, number one again. And don't be put off by the dented trophy. That's totally on purpose because we're the best again at hail damage for the 10th straight year. In 2024, Texas had 878 hail events in one year. That's a lot. Ouch, and there is always more. Once again, no one even came close to Texas. You know what? Actually, one small town east of Texas did, kind of. They experienced multiple hail events there every day. This is how it goes down at the Insurance Institute for Business and Home Safety, IBHS, in South Carolina. I went there recently to see all the things they do. Oh, there it goes. And their hail lab left a lasting impact. That is kind of its specialty. Once we get the hail cannons in the large chamber installed and, and tested, we can do 10,000 hailstones in 20 minutes. The scientists there created custom machines to make hailstones. That's a two incher. They've got freezers full of these ice balls. These were made last week. Oh wow, these are fresh. They load them up daily and shoot them at different shingles and siding products that are sold at regular hardware stores. You might feel a little bit of a dent here. So to see how they hold up on our homes and businesses. What's the threshold for when those shingles start to really degrade? Now, a couple of important things that they've figured out from those hit circles. If you have regular asphalt shingles on your roof, like many of us do, even if they are brand new and they get hit with two inch hail, your roof may end up just as pockmarked as your neighbor's 15 year old roof. But you are way more protected if you have impact resistant shingles. The IBHS researchers found some of those, even after being exposed to the elements for five years, still stood up to their hail cannon. We found that they're 50% less likely to experience damage from a two inch hailstone impact. But they say there are wide variations in how well even those special shingles work. One of them did pretty badly. After impacting it with two inch hail, you could see through the shingle. And that is why they test them and publish the results. Isn't that kind of the only way that we would know a difference as a consumer? Right, there's no other way to identify a difference between these products. I am linking to those results today. They'll be putting out new ratings for different brands later this year too. Now those hardier shingles may be something to consider considering this. You guys can see five inch hail every 50 years. Mm anywhere in Dallas. Mm. That is massive. That's the kind of hail that's going to possibly go through your roof, Yeah. right? But every year you have a high probability of experiencing two inch, maybe even above mm. um, two inch hailstones, right? Every single year. Every single year. That probability is, is pretty high. Last year, State Farm, the largest home insurer in Texas, paid out $5 billion for hail damage nationwide. Most of it was done to homes. And Texas accounted for more than a fifth of all of those claims. And so yes, hail has made our homeowners insurance premiums just high. State Farm and other insurers offer discounts if you replace your roof with those impact resistant shingles. Ahead, tomorrow on Daybreak, the monster molds of real life hailstones that these experts have collected, including, of course, from Texas, and a key feature in those natural property destroyers that may change how the researchers are making that test hail that they're shooting. And in the weeks ahead, more expensive perils and the cost effective fixes that I learned about there as we try to weather the elements and stay right on the money.